leaving me no choice but to drown the baby. <laughs> well done. Do you mind if I tell that one? The lads at Pete's will love it. You burned Pete's to the ground, baby. Huh? Did I? <laughs> you guys? <sighs> I want to introduce you to somebody. It's the newest member of our family. <laughs> oh no. Really? Why? Oh god. This is a bad idea. Oh, come on. What is so bad about me owning a gun? Is that loaded? <laughs> no. What's so bad about it is that it's a dangerous weapon that you have no reason to have. How did I know that you would be the one to have a problem with this? It isn't just him. We all got a problem with it, baby. Hey, I'm a psychopath and I think it's a load of bollocks. What the fuck? You all agree with him? Why shouldn't I have a gun? You're not safe. You don't respect that weapon, baby. You have no reason to own a gun. I'm an American, Hans. I don't need a reason to own a gun. But you are a Marylander, which means you do need a state license to own a handgun. So where's your license? You want to see my license? Oh my god, you don't like it. Yeah. I don't have a fucking license. Read the Second Amendment and weep, chumps. Actually, that's a copy of the original document. What we now think of as the Second Amendment was written there as Article 4. Articles 1 and 2 weren't ratified, which is how the term Bill of Rights came to refer to the first ten constitutional amendments to be ratified, rather than the specific document you're... Whatever! Writing. You know what I mean! The Constitution gives me the right to own a gun if I want to. What part of shall not be infringed don't you understand? What part of well-regulated don't you understand? Boom, baby! They got you there! Toby Benson, I'm most surprised at you. I would have thought, of all people, you, a former police officer, would support my right as a citizen to own a firearm. Yeah, private citizens with guns they don't need and don't know how to use. That's every cop's dream, baby. Okay, well, if that's the case, you're not a cop anymore. So now what's your problem with it? I don't want to get my ass shot is my problem with it, baby. Nobody's ass is going to get shot. How do you know? Because I'm the one with the gun, and I know I'm not going to accidentally shoot anybody with it. Well, as long as your intentions are good. So sorry to interrupt, but your mindless monkey chatter is keeping me from my beauty sleep. What is the meaning of this rumpus? I demand an explanation! Steve got a gun, baby. Really? I thought I smelled power. I beg your pardon, but you failed to address the question Stuffy posed a moment ago. Do you have a license to possess that firearm? You want to see my license again? Other than the Bill of Rights. I neither need nor have any license from the state of Maryland to own this gun. If you ain't got no license, then where'd you get that gun, baby? I got it from my uncle. Your uncle the federally licensed firearm dealer? No. I didn't think so. Alright, look. My uncle had a gun. He gave it to me, and now I have a gun. I don't have a license, I don't have a permit, and I don't have any special permission from Big Brother allowing me to exercise a constitutionally guaranteed liberty. Did you remember to round in the chamber, baby? Huh? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> anyway, if you guys just keep your mouth shut about me having a handgun or where I got it from, then we won't have a problem. Got it? This has a threat, you bastard! Why would you think it was a threat? Because you hold the gun in your hand, baby. So? So, you got the gun, you got the power, baby. Whatever anyone else says, you know shit's gonna go the way you want it to go. That's not what I'm doing. And anyway, who are you to lecture me on threatening people? Like you never threatened anybody. Oh, I threatened people before. But you know what you're forgetting, baby? A real badass don't need a gun for people to know he can back up a threat. I never thought I would say this, but Toby Benson's right. What about that time I told you to watch American Horror Story? Well, okay, you were right about that too. That's a good-ass show, baby. I don't know about good, maybe euphorically terrible. Whether you mean it that way or not, introducing a gun into a situation automatically makes it more dangerous. Everyone nearby is in jeopardy in a way they wouldn't have been without a gun there. And your good intentions are meaningless. Tempers can flare, accidents can happen, all sorts of things can go wrong. Why do you assume that something would go wrong with my gun? 
maybe something would go wrong with someone else's gun. Maybe a bad guy with a gun shows up looking to hurt people, and I and my gun get to save the day. Well, that's how aspiring heroes always imagine it going. But maybe the bad guy with the gun sees you with your gun before you see him and decides to kill you first. Odd how that scenario isn't proposed nearly as often, even though that exact thing has happened multiple times in real life. You know what? I hate to bail on this Moms Demand Action meeting, but I have a gun. And I'm going to go exercise my individual liberties in the highest, most sacred way possible by shooting at stuff with it. Wait for me! American Horror Story. I read for that. Oh yeah, baby? For which role? I was the second choice for Hallie, the family dog in the first season. I also read for Shelley in season two, but did not receive a call back. This shit right here is fucked up, baby. I feel like I owe you an apology, Toby Benson. I would not have expected you to be a gun control advocate. Hell yeah. Can't just let people treat a gun like a fucking taco truck. Shit's gotta be safe, baby. I... agree. Plus, gun regulation keeps prices high on the black market, which is good news for me. There's that other shoe. ka baby! Gotta pay the rent on that Krav Maga studio somehow. Fuck those that ain't turning no profit. If you're losing money on the Krav Maga studio, why do you keep teaching the classes? How else am I gonna legally beat people's asses, baby? I gotta do something with my weeknights. Why don't you stop flapping your gums and bend over so I can do something with me weak morning, you sloppy cunt! All you had to do is ask nicely, baby. Be back in about 30 seconds. Fuck off before I douse you really with whiskey and put a match to you. So there was a German Shepherd in one episode of season three. Did you audition for that? Hmm. Such a role is beneath an actor of my pedigree. That dog didn't even have any lines. Oh my God, what was that? We were sitting next to each other, and something thoughtful occurred to me, so I folded my arms in a thoughtful manner, but the gun was still in my hand, and I thought that the safety was on, but obviously it wasn't. I was a fool to think a human could be trusted with a gun. Out of curiosity, what was the deep thought that occurred to you before you crossed your arms? What if Robert Preston's character in The Last Starfighter is the same person as his character in The Music Man, and Harold Hill was an alien the entire time? I see. I had a similar thought about Bruno Ganz's characters after I watched Wings of Desire and Downfall. I did not, however, shoot anyone as a result. I really am very, very sorry, Millicent. Yes, well, I've prayed about it to Sonno Husko, and he has forgiven you. Thank you, Millicent. You don't touch me, motherfucker! Son of Husko forgives you, not me. Hm. Well, I was right, you know. It was her Paul that got shot, not her ass. <laughs> That's inappropriate. Not funny, baby. That's very sensitive. Oh, come on. I'm laughing through the tears. Whatever, baby. We out of here. I hope you've at least learned some lesson from this. I have. I gave the gun back to my uncle. It is definitely not for me. Your uncle, the irresponsible gun owner who gave it to you in the first place. Yep. He was happy to take it, actually. This way, instead of giving it to me for free, he can turn around and sell it to someone else. Doesn't that worry you? No. He won't have any trouble finding a buyer. He lives in West Virginia. <laughs> have you ever been? The gun stores there have self-checkouts. That's not what I was... Never mind. Seriously, though, I have learned my lesson. I mean, once again, I can't imagine what I must have been thinking. And once again, you've straightened me out. And for that, I thank you, my friend. You're welcome. But I can't take full credit this time. It was mostly shooting Millicent that straightened you out. Yeah. I still should have just listened to you, though. Most definitely. Why did we ever decide owning a gun was the ultimate demonstration of our individual liberty anyway? Because we're a nation of lazy, insecure bullies. Oh, yeah. <laughs>